Well, America in the early 1980s was a different America. We were a country on the move. America was very active in space exploration. We were coming out of a deep economic recession. And then, of course, football had passed baseball as the real national pastime. And in terms of what we call in journalism a human interest story, there came the story of Joe Delaney. It didn't take long for us to say, this is an international story. There was something that, that touched almost everybody in the, in the deepest marrows of, of their being. Joe was not like most athletes I've covered. You know, he was just a small town guy from Louisiana who seemed to care about his town. He used to mow this old lady's lawn in his neighborhood every week without being asked. He just knew she couldn't do it. He'd take his paycheck and just throw it on the counter for his wife. And she'd always say, don't you want anything for yourself? He goes, nah, you just take care of yourself and the girls. My Joe was a, a very kind Joe. Anybody that met Joe know that he was just a kind-hearted, free spirit, very good, loving guy. Describe that 82-yard touchdown play, how you get through that hole so much. Well, it was, you know, it, really, it was really a slant play, you know, and every time we get in the eye, they'll think we were going to run a sweep, so they thought pursuing outside, and I, it was a slant, and I had a cutback, and I broke one tackle, one of the in the secondary. Are you as fast as you look, as quick as you look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody liked Joe. You couldn't find anybody that didn't like Joe Delaney because you knew that when you went out on the field, you were going out on the field with a pro. In just 10 starts, Joe set four franchise records, was named the AFC's Rookie of the Year, and started in the 81 Pro Bowl. Joe Delaney had made his name known. In Monroe, Louisiana, late today, police said that a man identified as Joe Delaney, star running back for the Kansas City Chiefs, drowned trying to rescue a child. Witnesses said Delaney jumped into a lake in a public park when he saw three youngsters in trouble. Delaney and the 11-year-old boy he was trying to aid drowned. Another youngster is reported to be in critical condition. I do remember the day uh, that this story came across. There was something that, that touched almost everybody. It was almost as if you were just frozen when you heard about it and you thought that it was a joke. You ask yourself, what would you do in that situation? And if you have to think about it, then you know you're not going to do the right thing. But he never thought about it. The thing that was on his mind was, I need to save these kids. It was a murderously hot day in Louisiana. Joe Delaney was sitting 75 yards away under a uh, tree was looking on at these kids who were walking into this pond. And they disappeared under the water, abruptly. And Joe, who was unable to swim, dashed out to try to save them. He managed to save Marty, but he and the other two boys drowned. True to the core of his nature, nothing could stop Joe Delaney from helping others in need, even at his own peril. What do you say about a guy who gave up his life for complete strangers? What do you do? How do you honor someone like that? Joe Delaney's a hero for what he did that day. That's what kind of guy Joe was. He did the right thing. He put himself at risk for somebody else. What more can you ask of a person? We need to remember Joe because we have to remember why we're here. You can accomplish the greatest things in the world. You can be the AFC Rookie of the Year. You can be a starter in the Pro Bowl. You can be the fastest kid in Louisiana. And it doesn't matter if you don't really know what you were meant to do. And that to Joe meant doing everything you can to help your fellow man. We have to learn from him and let that legacy live on. There are other folks out there who need help and need support. Whether it's your time, whether it's a smile on your face, whether it's given to a charity, it doesn't take much to change somebody's outlook on life. And in doing that, we all can be a part of what Joe Delaney's legacy was.